Sometimes the inner wires for your brakes or your shifters will become damaged, bent or frayed or cut, and you'll have to replace those. It's very simple to do. Um, the tools you'll need are a pair of wire cutters. Most of the time you'll use a five millimeter Allen wrench to open your pinch bolt. For this application, we're going to be using a nine millimeter open-ended wrench. First, we will release all the cable and shift into the smallest cog in the back. Next, we will open up the pinch, the pinch bolt for the cable and pull the cable out of the derailleur and out of the rear bit of housing. This particular shifter has a dust cover where the cable goes in. Just pop that out. Some, sometimes it's a screw that you unthread. Sometimes it's a dust cover that you have to remove to, to access the cable. Now we'll pull this first bit of cable housing out to be able to access the inner wire. And then just push the inner wire out until it comes out of the shifter and then pull it the rest of the way through. Once you've got your inner wire into your shifter, pull it all the way through and replace the dust seal. And then put it through the housing. Pull it all the way through the housing and reinstall the housing in the frame and in your shifter. And for the rear derailleur, we'll run it through the bottom cable guide. Back to your rear section of housing. Don't talk for a second until they're done talking. Okay. Put the housing back into the cable stops and into your barrel adjuster. And into the pinch bolt. Tighten your pinch bolt and adjust your derailleur like normal. If your derailleur was working fine before, you shouldn't have to adjust your limits or your B-tension screw, just your cable tension. And you should have a functioning derailleur.